beginner calculus question requiring domains. Here we go. Here we have to find the domain for the function square root of 18x over x squared minus 400. Notice where well, we have a rational function instead of the square root, and these are the conditions that we have to set up. I will suggest you to work with the rational part first. So whenever we have a top over bottom, remember the bottom cannot be equal to zero. So pay attention to the bottom and make sure that wing decay, this right here cannot be zero. So let's just put the bottom here. Whatever the expression is, make it not equal to zero. This way, after you solve this well, technically inequality, because this is a not equal sign, you end up with the numbers that we cannot plug in for this function. Next, if you take a look at square root of the inside, because we are just dealing with real numbers, so when we have this case, we have to make sure the inside of the square root cannot be negative numbers. So that means we have to make sure the inside, just write that down, right, the expression inside, and then set it greater than or equal to zero and then solve for this inequality. And because we have two situations, we have to do both, and then find out the interval that satisfies both conditions. Here we go. Let's go ahead and take care of the first part, which is just the denominator of the rational part. So imagine we don't have the square root, just go ahead and do that. So we will have to set x squared minus 400 not equal to zero, and then just solve it. I'm just going to move this to the other side, right? x squared not equal to 400. And then we can just simply take the square root on both sides. That way this and that cancel, and then don't forget the plus or minus. That implies x cannot be plus or minus 20. So when we have a not equal sign, solving this is the same as solving a regular equation, and we found two numbers that we can use for this function. Now, the harder part for this question is that we have to make sure the inside of the square root being positive. So, for the second part, we have to write down the inside expression, 18x over x squared minus 400. We have to make sure that it is greater than or equal to zero. So just kind of forget all that, focus on this right here. And this right here is also not easy to solve because we have a rational inequality or nonlinear inequality. Do not just multiply this on both sides. It's not like that. So how do we do it? This is the safe way to do it. Go ahead and find out the numbers that we care. Especially the right hand side is zero already. You can proceed to do that. On the top, we have 18x. Make this equal to zero. That implies x is equal to zero. So if x is zero, you will get a number that we care. Right? 18x equal to zero, x can be zero. So we first care about zero. And the next, you do care the bottom. You also make it equal to zero. And this implies it's the same thing right there x is equal to plus or minus 20. Technically, not equal, because again, they are on the bottom. So right here, we have to care about 0 and also plus or minus 20. And the best way to do this is, now take that and then draw a number line right here, and then just test out the interval. We have to put in these three numbers right here. So let's say here is 0, and then here is negative 20. And here is positive 20. Remember, we cannot have x is positive or negative 20. So right here, I'm just going to put an open circle and open circle. And because this is a greater than or equal sign, that means x could be equal to 0. So 0 is included. So you can circ put close circle right here, like that. Now, test it out. How? Pick a number less than negative 20. So let's just go ahead and say negative 21. Don't be too fancy, right? Let's say negative 21. And then just plug into this right here. So we have negative 21 
and then squared minus 400 and then the top is 18 times negative 21 and you don't really have to work out like a specific numbers you can just test out if it's positive or not right here the top is positive oh sorry <laughs> positive times negative is negative and then the bottom well this right here is going to be 440 something right 41 minus that so it's positive so work that out you get negative over positive which altogether we get negative and that's not what we want because we're looking for the non-negative part so now go ahead and pick a number from uh, between negative 20 and 0 let's say 1 why not negative 1 because it's less than 0 now put negative 1 into all the x's we are looking at 18 times negative 1 over negative 1 square minus 400 now the top is negative the bottom right here is 1 minus 400 is for sure negative all in all we get positive continue pick a number between 0 and 20 that's say 1 and then put it there so we're looking at 18 times 1 over 1 squared minus 400 the top is positive 1 minus that is negative all in all this right here is negative and we don't want that section Lastly, pick a number bigger than 20, that's say 22, no, don't be too fancy, just 21. Plug in, so we have 18 times positive 21 over 21 squared minus 400. The top is positive, the bottom right here, work that out, you will get positive as well. So all in all, you get positive. So now, these conditions are right here and right here already so we are good we can just kind of pick up what we need from here so ladies and gentlemen I will tell you the domain for the function is equal to we go from negative 20 to 0 in interval notation we are not including the negative 20 so put on parentheses but we are including the 0 so go ahead and put on the square bracket and then we have another part right here so you can put on union and some of the computer softwares they will also accept comma doesn't really matter that much in my opinion so depending on which one that they take but union usually the other one we have to go from 20 all the way to the right so all the way to infinity for the 20 we are not including it so parentheses and we can never include infinity so parentheses and that is the domain for that function. So hopefully this right here helps. That's it.